This is all indicative of a fiat currency collapse. We're in the first stage of it, right? We talked about, it's not about the liquidity, it's about the solvency. They keep worrying about liquidity, injecting more money in the system, but it's the solvency itself. So we are moving there. And the reason I know we're moving there is because the World Economic Forum announced its 2021 summit in Singapore. So they moved it from Lucerne, the World Economic Forum meeting for the Great Reset. It's titled The Great Reset. Because what do they know that I know? That we're sitting on top of an unexploded debt bomb, fiat currency collapse bomb, geopolitical bomb, a trade war bomb. And we really don't know what will trigger the final explosion. We do know with the astrology, we know who's going to get hit. Notice the United States. Notice Greece, Saudi Arabia. But what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at here is that this eclipse is going to set off all of these events. Now, what's interesting, I brought this up. I did a scan. I said, all right, scan every chart, every chart in my system. We're talking thousands. And what chart came up was the chart of 1186, the year everything collapsed. So in the year 1186, we know for a fact, based on the archaeological research, there was a collapse in the Bronze Age. So the Bronze Age was about the time of the Bible, the time that the Hebrew Bible was being written. Around that time, you go back all the way up to 1186 BC, which there's, there's a lot of evidence, this consensus of a perfect storm of multiple interconnected failures. So a perfect storm of interconnected failures, meaning more than one natural and man-made cataclysm or a series of them happened that caused a disintegration and demise of the ancient civilization that incorporated the empires and globalized people of the Bronze Age, that being the Messianian, the Minoan, the Trojan, the Hittite, the Babylonian cultures all collapsed at the same time. Now, why am I bringing that up? Here's the chart. Here's a chart of when the collapse occurred. Now, this is not the exact day. We just know the year, and I'm taking the astrological year. So look, notice here, Mars-Pluto conjunction in Sagittarius, this eclipse is hitting this. It's like it's hitting it perfectly, dead on. And notice here, while this eclipse is playing itself out, right? In other words, this eclipse now is recapitulating the themes of this 1186 BC, the year everything collapsed horoscope. It correlates with what we're seeing here, where everything we assume to be permanent for the past 75 years has become extremely fragile, and we are here. And you can see everything has been falling apart. Crisis, 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 right? I haven't even updated this. Pentagon confirmation of UFO threat. All of this, we are right here. We're not even hitting bottom yet. So the systemic fragility that's built into the large-scale systems, right? All the different systems. And when I talk about the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, for those of you attending the webinar, I'm going to just give you a hint. Systems, all types of systems, financial systems. If you'd like to watch the full presentation and more like this on geopolitics, the economy, and world events from an archetypal and mundane astrological perspective, join the Global Transformation Astrology Membership. Go to gta.williamstickevers.com or click the link in the description for twice monthly webinars with Q&A, access to the growing library of previous webinars, and a collection of information and resources on today's most important topics, plus a monthly Ask Me Anything session for gold members. We are now in the middle of a massive collective psycho-spiritual death rebirth process. Stay informed and be a part of the breakthrough, not the breakdown. Become a GTA member today.